Hello everybody, peace the Lord Jesus Christ, and welcome to part 2 of Muslims since 2003's video, How to Shut Christians Who Claim That Muhammad Is a Pedophile. Don't lie with your, your, mother, your wife's mother would not be one of them. It would not be that it's so important as the laws. The first two laws I would lay down are don't rape and don't have sex with children. Those would be very... Well... Um, I can't believe you can follow a prophet who had sex with Aisha at the age of nine. Oh, but Muslims say we got it wrong. We don't understand the story. Okay, let me change it. L let me explain to you how it really went down, everybody. I want you to listen closely. Muhammad, at the age of 53, was just walking down the street. La -di -da -di -da, la -da 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 -da. And Aisha said, Muhammad? He said, yeah. She said, Muhammad, I have some candy for you. You said, candy, 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 candy. I want some candy. And so, she took him to her playhouse. And he gave, and she gave her some candy. She gave him some candy and he said, oh yes, I love candy. She said, Muhammad, he said, uh-huh. She tied him down and started taking off his clothes and having sex with him. And this is how it went down. You guys are liars. Okay, it wasn't Muhammad having sex with her. You have it the other way around. Okay, you have it wrong. <laughs> now, you're going to talk about prostitution. Yes, it does. Chapter 9, verse 42 of Mark says, Anybody who takes the innocence of these little children, it would be better for him to have a milestone tied around his neck, and he was cast into, cast into the ocean. So according to the Holy Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, it's better that Muhammad was never even born. And I agree with Jesus on this. Now, let me show you in your own Quran that prostitution is fine. Anur... Ananur, uh, chapter 24, verse 33. Let those who find not the wherewithal for marriage keep themselves chaste until Allah gives them means out of his grace. And if any of your slaves ask for a deed in writing to enable them to earn their freedom for a certain sum, give them such a deed if you ye know any good in them. Yea, give them something yourselves out of the means which Allah has given you, but force not maids to prostitution when they desire chastity, in order that ye may make a gain in their goods of this life. But if anyone compels them, yet after such compulsion is Allah off forgiving most merciful. So this is saying here, you want to be a pimp? That's perfectly fine by Islam because it completely condones it. And does not condemn it as in Christianity it does. Now don't even try Muslims to think that you can show the Quran to be filthy. You are a bunch of liars and hypocrites. Now. I ho let's see what he says at the end. I hope you can answer because you know what? Well, I just answered. It just confirmed what I always saw in Christianity, that they are hypocrites. They don't read the Bible to their audience except the love and peace crap, and they have the nerve to blame others on what their own scriptures say. Shame on them. Yes, shame on you. No, no. I just showed you that from Mark 9 verse 42, which you guys failed to mention because you're a bunch of liars, that having sex with children, it would be better if you weren't even born. Out of the words of Jesus, our Lord. Let me show you how filthy your prophet is. Sahih Muslim. Now, Sahih Bukhari. For anybody who's not Muslim and doesn't know this, Sahih means authentic book. Acceptable book. Sahih Muslim book 008 number 33110. Aisha, Allah be pleased with her, reported Allah's apostle, may peace 
may piss be upon him, married me when I was six years old, and I was admitted to his house when I was nine years old. Sahih Bukhari 7, book, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 64, narrated by Aisha, that the Prophet married her when she was six years old, and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old, and then she remained with him for nine years, i.e. till his death. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 65, narrated by Isha, that the Prophet married her when she was six years old, and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. So he raped a little girl by the name of Aisha. Hishan said, I have been informed that Aisha remained with the Prophet for nine years till his death. What you know of the Quran by heart? Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 88, narrated by Ursa. The Prophet wrote the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated his marriage with her while she was nine years old and she remained with him for, for nine years, i.e. till his death. So I can't believe you would, you Muslims would even have the nerve to make such a video like this. And as we, as a recap, in 65 verse 4 of your Quran, it says that it is completely fine to divorce a little girl who has not had her period yet. Jesus is Lord. Not all Muslims are filthy. A lot of them are good, but Islam is filthy. Made by the filthy, low class dirt human being. Amen.